Greetings, Panther educators. One of the hot topics in Schoology right now is how do I see late submissions from students or uh, students who haven't submitted an assignment? And while it's not as easy as I like, there are ways to do that. So uh, I'm looking at the course homepage now as a teacher. In a previous screencast, I showed you that students can click the SV Schoology Home icon and they get reminders and upcoming, but they also have right here an overdue status area. And anything that is past due will populate here from all their classes. We don't have that as teachers though. So I'm gonna show you some options you have for, for doing that. Um, we're gonna to go to the grade book here and I'm gonna show you some views that you may find helpful. And you're gonna see a few things that don't seem to fit what I'm saying. And I'm gonna explain why that is and explain a couple key uh, features you have you need to have enabled on an assignment for it to show up as overdue. Uh, also going to point out if you have any assignment uh, score entered, if you submit an assignment score in the gradebook, even a zero, that will disappear from the student's overdue list. I said that in the student view, so make sure you pay attention to that. All right, so here in the gradebook, uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of view options. So under the view menu, you have a couple of things down here. You can see 15 items need grading. If I click that, it will highlight those items for me, as you can see. And we also have not submitted. It says there are 18 assignments that are not submitted. Okay. And you can see everything in blue here is uh, Schoology is telling me is an assignment that was not submitted and is overdue. But Maybe you see right here, this assignment, there are five points for all three students, and yet it's highlighted as not submitted. And that's because when I created this assignment, which is an Edpuzzle assignment, I had a setting mistakenly clicked, enable submissions. And what that means is Schoology is looking for the students to submit something, but they don't need to submit anything. Edpuzzle does it automatically for them. So that was a mistake on my end. I'm going to show you how to avoid that in just a second. Here's another useful category under view. Let me get rid of that, just clear it up. Um, these two right here, graded with new submission, means you've graded the assignment, you've entered it, and after you graded it and returned it to the students, they submitted something else, which is very helpful to know. Maybe you've asked them to do a revision or a rewrite on an assignment, and this will tell you Right here, there'll be a number just like these that will tell you how many of those you need to actually go back and look at. And if you click that, it will highlight them on the gradebook for you and you can you know, easily navigate to them and regrade them. This one is any assignment that you marked missing on the due date. So you put a zero in, you marked missing, it's calculated as a zero in the gradebook. And after you did that, the student submitted work. And whether you grade that or not, or what grade you give it depends on your grading policy, of course, but that will notify you that there are some past due assignments that have been submitted so you can give them partial credit or, or whatever your policy is. Okay. Um, I would also like to point out here that you have the option to print reports and you can select an individual student and generate a report and it will show you their entire work history. And you can see all these things are missing. If they submit something late, it would also be indicated here. The problem is, like this is another Edpuzzle, um, they're not technically submitting anything. So it's not going to show up here as late, okay? So um, anyway, I hope that makes sense. Now, as far as assignments go, how do you set this up so things show up as past due? Uh, so let's go here to test materials, and then I'm going to add an assignment. There are three key areas that you must have for this assignment to show up as overdue when the due date passes. You must have a due date. You must select a category, even if it's ungraded. You have to have something here, which it forces you to do anyway. And you must have submissions enabled, which it is by default. This is what I had selected for that Edpuzzle assignment. So, what, so you can see here that I uh, assigned this Edpuzzle and there's absolutely nothing for them to submit here. They just go in and, and complete the Edpuzzle 
and there's nothing to submit. So that's a mistake on my end. So that's showing up as unsubmitted, even though the student may have done it. And in the grade book, it's populating as, uh, you know, the, uh, the grade, you know, is populating here automatically from Edpuzzle, but it's also showing up as unsubmitted, which obviously isn't the case. So you need to be aware of those settings in your, in your grade book. Okay. So those are some ways to track missing or late assignments. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, um, if you have an assignment, so this OneDrive assignment is an example. I pushed out this assignment in OneDrive. So I made a copy for every student and I look at the submissions. Nobody has submitted anything, but there is nowhere in this window to see when a student submitted it. To me, that's a bit of an oversight by Schoology. I know why it happens. I'm not going to go into it here, but don't really like it. Uh, if I go back to my grade book, though, this assignment right here, this was a sample I set up just to test submissions. Um, I enabled submissions. Students had to attach a file to this. You can see it says right here, student submitted this. It's 100 out of 100. It was submitted on time. You can see one was graded, one was on time, not submitted, two. And I click on those and it tells me exactly who has not submitted yet. You notice here, late is also an option. Anybody who submitted it after the due date, it would list their names right here. So you can see that. Again, that only works if they have attached their own or their own file to the assignment. And if I click on that, you can also see up here, they submitted two revisions. You can see the times over here. You can see comments the teacher made. But here I can click revision two or revision one. This is the original assignment they attached. Yes, nice. And that was made at 8.43 a.m. But then they revised and they realized, oh, I wasn't supposed to submit a picture of Nirvana. I was supposed to submit a screenshot of my masterclass, Joy of Cooking. I, I don't know why I have that. All right. And you can see that was submitted at 8.44. Okay, so some inconsistencies there for sure, but hopefully that helps. If you have any questions or I can help you out with anything, let me know.